Have you ever contemplated whether we're truly solitary in the cosmos, or if there's more to our existence than what we perceive? What if the James Webb Telescope ultimately demonstrates that we inhabit a black hole? Join us as we delve deeper into this groundbreaking revelation that will challenge everything you believed about the universe. So what precisely are black holes? They're akin to something from a nightmare. Sure, you might have encountered them in science fiction films, but the reality is even more terrifying. According to researchers, they're not merely pitch black voids in space. They're actually colossal amounts of matter condensed into an incredibly minute area. Imagine a star 10 times more massive than the sun, all compressed into a sphere the size of New York City. The gravitational force is so overwhelming that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Scientists have been captivated by black holes for centuries, ever since they considered objects in space so immense and dense that they could ensnare light. The most renowned theories regarding black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a massive star expires, it leaves behind a tiny, dense core. If this core's mass is more than three times that of the sun, gravity surpasses everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. Detecting black holes is no simple task since they don't emit any light. However, scientists have devised methods to infer their presence by observing their impact on nearby matter. For instance, if a black hole traverses a cloud of interstellar matter, it will draw that matter toward it in a process called accretion. Additionally, when a normal star approaches a black hole too closely, it can be torn apart, releasing X-rays as it does so. Black holes also significantly influence their surroundings. They can consume neighboring stars, emit powerful gamma bursts, and even affect the development of new stars in some regions while impeding it in others. But where do black holes originate? Envision this. A star, once magnificent and blazing, meets its ultimate fate in a spectacular explosion known as a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes emerge. Most black holes are birthed from massive stars that have reached their celestial retirement in a supernova detonation. Smaller stars, upon dying, transform into what are called neutron stars, which are super dense but not dense enough to ensnare light. However, if a star possesses a mass of about three times that of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational weight, forming a black hole. As these mighty stars collapse, something peculiar occurs near their surfaces. Time itself begins to play tricks. From the perspective of an observer far away, time seems to decelerate near the event horizon, the point of no return for anything falling into a black hole. It's as if the star's clock ticks at a different rate compared to ours. Occasionally, when two smaller black holes collide, they merge to create an even larger and more formidable black hole. If a black hole partners with a neutron star, they generate a colossal nightmare that defies comprehension. Researchers have been wrestling with the scale of these cosmic phenomena for years. Black holes come in two categories, enormous and small. There's a sinister enigma surrounding them that we can't seem to decipher. But here's the twist. Small is relative when it pertains to black holes. Stellar mass black holes, remnants of massive stars, can be as large as 10 to 24 times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone. That's an astronomical figure of black holes that could consume anything in their path. But wait, there's more. Supermassive black holes are on the other end of the spectrum. They're millions if not billions of times larger than the Sun. They exist at the core of large galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. It's like a gaping dark void that's drawing everything toward it. The esteemed physicist Stephen Hawking discussed black holes throughout his life. His lectures were always enlightening, but some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of necessary apparatus. However, there's hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is transforming everything, and we're not ready for it. It's known as the James Webb Space Telescope, also referred to as JWST, and it's here to plunge into the depths of our universe. Let me tell you, the JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a testament to the potential of human aspiration. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before, and they've performed their duties just fine, but this remarkable device is in a league of its own. The JWST makes the Hubble, 
which has faithfully served us for years, appear as a mere speck in the cosmos. The price tag of this astronomical wonder is a staggering $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right. Enough zeros to make your head spin. And get this. It took the combined efforts of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this marvel to fruition, not to mention the invaluable contributions from over 300 universities. But let's not overlook the risks that accompany such a grand undertaking. I know this isn't a venture for the faint of heart. The JWST is embarking on a journey into uncharted territory, pushing the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only imagined. Following a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than twice its minimum mission life expectancy of 10 years. Since its launch, the JWST has accomplished numerous incredible feats. It traveled over a million miles to reach its orbit around the sun, where it will remain permanently. During its journey, the telescope successfully unfolded its massive five-layer sun shield and giant main mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after NASA has fine-tuned and calibrated it, the telescope is almost ready to enter full operation. One of the most thrilling developments concerning the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA announced that it had captured its first images of starlight. The initial image taken by the telescope was of a star named HD 8446, resulting in a mosaic of 18 scattered bright dots from the star's light captured by the 18 mirror segments located on the primary mirror. NASA later released a new and enhanced image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were brought together in a deliberate hexagonal formation. Once the observatory successfully aligns the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process. This will overlay 18 images into one clear view. With its cutting-edge technology, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is set to help scientists explore the universe's early moments after the Big Bang. It will investigate the epoch of reionization, the period when the first stars formed and neutral hydrogen was reionized by their radiation. This remarkable journey back in time, spanning billions of years, is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. Additionally, the JWST will play a crucial role in the search for exoplanets, which are notoriously difficult to detect due to their interactions with their host stars. Its advanced sensors will enable detailed observations of these distant worlds, including potential imaging of their atmospheres. Understanding these atmospheres and their formation conditions will assist scientists in evaluating the habitability of certain planets. Beyond exoplanets, the JWST will enhance our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. Researchers study galaxies to understand how matter is organized on a grand scale, revealing insights into the universe's development over billions of years. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we observe today evolved from different shapes, and one of the JWST's objectives is to examine the earliest galaxies, deepening our comprehension of this evolutionary process. Scientists are also investigating the diversity of galaxies we see today and how they continue to form and assemble. Most importantly, the JWST aims to help answer some of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? Are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already made intriguing discoveries, including the detection of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, around supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules, with their ring-like structures, are prevalent throughout the universe from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. PAHs are not only intriguing as potential building blocks of life, but they also help astronomers trace star formation. When ultraviolet radiation interacts with these PAHs, they emit infrared light, which can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. This is often indicative of hot, young stars nearby. In a thrilling twist, Astrophysicist Ismael Garcia Bernard from Oxford University investigated three active galaxies, NGC 6552, NGC 731, and the famous Stefan Quintet located millions of light years away. His findings revealed a significant concentration of PAHs in the central regions dominated by black holes. However, a chilling aspect emerged. The radiation from these supermassive black holes transformed the PAHs into larger, 
electrically neutral versions, causing the smaller, charged pHs to vanish. It's a haunting image of being engulfed by darkness. Yet, there's a glimmer of hope. The larger pHs survived by taking refuge within thin, dense gas clouds, akin to finding a protective cloak from the black hole's overwhelming force. This unexpected twist presents a puzzle for astronomers who rely on pAHs to trace star formation, as star-forming regions typically contain charged pAHs. If these molecules are eradicated near black hole cores, tracking star birth becomes increasingly challenging. But our intrepid astronomers are undeterred. Garcia Bernard and his team plan to delve deeper into this cosmic enigma, aiming to analyze more active galaxies to uncover the secrets of how resilient pHs endure in such harsh environments. Their mission is to understand the unique properties of pHs residing in the cores of black hole-dominated galaxies, which could unlock vital insights into star formation and galaxy evolution. Moreover, the JWST has made a staggering discovery. It may have identified the oldest black hole in the universe. This supermassive black hole, weighing an astonishing 10 million times the mass of the sun, was detected through faint glimmers of light dating back to the universe's infancy, just 570 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers suspect that even older black holes might lurk in the cosmic depths. It's both fascinating and daunting to ponder what other mysteries await discovery. One thing is clear. The JWST is illuminating the darkest corners of the universe, revealing astonishing findings that challenge our understanding. The identification of the oldest black hole has sent ripples through the scientific community, hinting at a multitude of similar cosmic giants from the early universe, a time that began around 100 million years after the Big Bang when the cosmos was merely a billion years old. Researchers are baffled by the abundance of these ancient black holes and their rapid growth to such immense sizes. While the latest findings are yet to undergo peer review, lead author Rebecca Olin from the University of Texas at Austin believes many more black holes await discovery. She emphasizes that the JWST enables us to explore cosmic history like never before, and she is eager to see what additional revelations emerge as the JWST continues its mission. It is poised to uncover more mind-bending cosmic surprises in the vastness of space. The universe is filled with enigmas just waiting to be unraveled, and each new discovery brings us closer to unlocking its profound secrets. With its ability to peer into the earliest epochs of the universe, the JWST offers insights that were once thought unattainable. Its observations of distant galaxies reveal crucial information about the age and composition of these ancient structures. Recent findings highlight the JWST's remarkable capability to detect faint signals from the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. These primordial galaxies are essential for understanding the universe's history, as they played a vital role in reionizing the cosmos and shaping subsequent structures. By studying these early galaxies, scientists aim to unravel how the first stars ignited and how the universe transitioned from darkness to light. Additionally, the JWST's capacity to observe exoplanets in unparalleled detail is opening new frontiers in planetary science. Its instruments can analyze the atmospheres of distant worlds by measuring the light that filters through them, revealing potential biomarkers such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and complex organic molecules, signs that might indicate the possibility of life. The findings from the JWST could greatly enhance our understanding of planetary systems beyond our own. Another thrilling aspect of the JWST mission lies in its potential to refine our models of galaxy formation and evolution. By examining how galaxies interact, merge, and evolve, researchers can gain insights into the processes governing galaxy growth and the role of dark matter in shaping the universe.